Hi y'all, this is Larry at Deep South Texas. Today, we're gonna harvest some Moringa. So here are uh, my Moringa trees. Some of them are uh, eight to 10 feet tall. And uh, what we wanna do is uh, cut them back, harvest some leaves, get those leaves uh, dried out and ground up and put into capsules. So let's get started. And this is what the plants look like after they've been cut down. But uh, not to worry, they'll grow back. And in fact, they'll probably put on two stems for every cut that I made. So they'll get a little bit bushier, put out some more leaves. Well, that's a, that's a pretty nice haul of leaves. That's, uh, bring them inside under the air conditioning and start processing them. Well, here are the Moringa leaves in the house in the kitchen ready for processing them. I'm gonna wait till the uh, dishwasher goes off before I continue with this video. That's what I have right now left for tomatoes. There are probably that many more yet uh, ripening up outside. And to be honest, I can't wait till they're done. I am really tired of processing tomatoes at this point. So on to the Moringa. So the next step in the process is to uh, take the leaves off of the main stems. So I just uh, clip them off. and throw them into the sink to, uh, to rinse them off. So there's a lot of leaves here. It's gonna take a while, so we'll, we'll come back a little bit later. So there are the leaves in the sink, and then I also have some flowers, and I dry those as well. From what, I, from what I read, all parts of the plant are medicinal, so even the roots, so uh, we're going to dehydrate all these. I'm going to rinse them off and dry them up a little bit and then get them in the dehydrator. So now we're ready to put them in the dehydrator trays and we're going to clip off a little bit more of the stems as we go along. Um, the stems are actually kind of a problem when it comes to the next step. After we get them dehydrated, then we got to we have to crush them up, and the stems don't uh, don't do very well in that process. I, I need them off because eventually I'm going to put the, I'm going to end up with powder, and I want to put that powder into capsules, and uh, capsules don't like the stem. <laughs> So we'll get back when we have the uh, dehydrator full. Okay, the dehydrator trays are full. And here's the stems that came off. And uh, these two on the end, I think I'm going to uh, try to uh, grow those into new trees. I'll cut them off about two feet up and put them in a pot of dirt. See if we can grow them. Okay, that's it for right now. All right, so the Moringa has been in the dehydrator for about eight hours and uh, it's fairly dry and it's time to continue to uh, 
separate the leaves from the stems. So, kind of a long process. Just try to rake the, the leaves off the stems. Throw, throw the stems to the side. And uh, this will take a while. But we'll be back a little bit later. So this is what we have after removing all the stems from the uh, dehydrated leaves. We've got a bowl of leaves and a pile of stems. I'm going to put the stems in the trash and we're going to uh, grind up the leaves. Okay, we're going to grind up the leaves a little bit at a time. This might get kind of noisy. And then I run, I run them through this sieve in case there's any big things still left in there. And what's left I just put back in for reprocessing. We'll uh, do that one more time. And then we just continue to do that uh, until we have all the leaves processed. So we'll be back when we get that done. Okay, after uh, grinding it up in a coffee grinder, we ended up with 196 grams of Moringa powder. Now let's uh, put some of those into gelatin capsules. So I use uh, these gelatin tablets here, triple O size, and uh, you can find these on Amazon. First thing we're going to do is uh, take all the capsules, take 50 at a time, separate them, and uh, put the long end in this device, and uh, put the short end in a bowl. So we get back to you when we have our uh, capsule creator all, all filled up. Okay, so I have uh, 50 half capsules in this uh, capsule making machine. And uh, now it's, um, it's halfway down, so you can see that the capsules are in there. Now I'm going to uh, raise it all the way up so the capsules are just below the level of the machine here. And then we'll take some of our Moringa powder and, and uh, fill these capsules up. This can be a kind of kind of a messy process. So 
Now, they kind of look like they're full, but they're only loosely packed. So I take a uh, another capsule and I just press down on each hole here to uh, pack the Moringa into the capsule. And I'll go back in and add a little bit more Moringa powder. Now I have those uh, capsules pretty well packed with uh, Moringa powder and I am going to lower the top part of this tool a little bit to expose the capsules. Now the uh, Moringa powder is up above the bottom of the capsule just a little bit so this this part is kind of tricky, you know, you want to get the, the top of the capsule on without losing too much Moringa. And it snaps into place. And there's the capsule. We go through this and uh, do all 50 capsules. It can be a little tricky. This is this is kind of why you want as much of the stems out as possible because the stems can get in the way and keep the capsule from closing easily. So I usually make this uh, this tool makes 50 capsules at a time. I usually do that twice and, and make a hundred capsules. So um, we'll get back to you when, when I have that done. And there we have it. We have a uh, hundred capsules and we have um, about 146 grams left of the powder. So in the hundred, in the hundred capsules, we've used about 50 grams. So there is, um, and that's 25 days worth. So we have another 75 days worth of powder here. So all in all, um, 100 days worth of Moringa for me. So I take four capsules a day. And so this, this 100 capsules will last me 25 days. All in all, it will last a um, hundred days, a little, a little over three months. Now, Moringa is like this um, super plant. The, uh, all parts of it can be consumed, and it supposedly, if you believe everything they say online, it cures almost everything and prevents almost everything. So. I don't think that's true, but uh, you need to go check check it out online. It really is uh, has quite amazing properties, um, more nutrients and minerals than than almost any other plant, all the amino acids that the human body requires. So, uh, to me, it's well worth the effort. And since I can grow it here, it it really makes it nice. I mean, I I know. Uh, what goes in it, I know how it was processed, I know how old it is, um, it really is great. So if you can grow it in your area, you know, I encourage you to do so. It, uh, it can't take a freeze, so it doesn't really freeze here. We get, we get a frost a couple times a year, but nothing, nothing really will freeze, so the plant's safe here. But 
if you don't live in an area like that, which would be like Southern Florida, Southern Texas, uh, Southern California, you know, if you have a greenhouse, you can grow these in containers and, um, you know, process it that way. If not, you can always buy Moringa powder online. It's, uh, it's not that expensive. Or you can buy capsules, which are a little bit more expensive. So anyway, I hope you enjoyed this video. Please uh, hit that thumbs up if you did. If you have any questions, please uh, leave them in the comments below. And as always, I ask you to subscribe if you enjoyed this. Thank you very much. We'll see you again next time.